For the past four weeks, this Land Cruiser has been our home on wheels. And when we were looking for a truck to get us through Namibia and Botswana, we were looking for two things, really. We were looking for ease of setup and off-road capabilities, and the Land Cruiser ticked all of those boxes. So we want to take you through a quick tour of the Cruiser, show you how it's set up, all the different features that are in it, both the things that come on the truck, as well as the kind of additions that we've made to make it a little more comfortable for ourselves over the last four weeks. So. Let's start by setting this thing up. We are Eric and Ash, and for the next six weeks, we're gonna be traveling through Namibia and Botswana. We've got a ton of adventures planned for this trip, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more about our escapades in Southern Africa, or to learn more about our lives as expats living in Saudi Arabia. Let's get to it. We love how easy it is. It's fast, it's simple, there's not a lot to do, and we're ready to make some food. So starting in the back, you can see that there is quite a bit of room for storage in the back of the truck. Now, there's this alu cab drawer that runs the whole length of the back, and when you open it up, you can see that this is where we've decided to keep our food. Um, when we got the truck, it had the air pump, it had some um, recovery gear, but we decided that it would just simplify things and put all of our food here and kind of hide the rest of that towards the back in the event that we needed it. This drawer underneath the refrigerator is where all of like the cooking utensils are. So I need a knife. We have this uh, nifty little silverware cutlery organizer, but then everything else is in here from a grater to knives to wine glasses to a can opener. So this is where cooking stuff goes. We also have mallow meat sticks, which is what we brought with us because as Americans, when we are at a campfire, we like to make s'mores. And these are awesome. With the marshmallow at the end, it extends and it even has a little thing that rotates the stick. So, Malamy does not sponsor us, but if you want to, Malamy, we'll, we'll use them often. We've also got four chairs that came with the truck. Uh, the truck is a double cab, so it's designed to be able to hold up to four people, even though it's just the two of us. The front runner chairs are really nice. They fold up easily, and you can see we've got two of them set up already at our table. Uh, also, the alu cab table that is there, it sits there, and then it stores up here on top and hooks in with this little latch right there to make sure that it doesn't bump around while we're driving down the road. We've got a National Luna fridge freezer combo. It's 90 liters. It's plenty big, especially for the two of us and more than enough space for everything we've got. And then we've got our little pantry. And so in this pantry, it's got mugs up at the top. It's got plates, some extra room for storage. Uh, we've got a cast iron pan, a pot, some other random things down here that work really well whenever we're cooking. We also included our pour overs over there on the left hand side because we need our coffee. Now because the truck is designed for four people, it has the alu cab pop top up top which is so awesome but then it also has a ground tent right in front of it that we have not opened up in the time that we've been here. We we're doing a one-way trip so we did have to bring all of the gear with us so we've got the tent, we've got some sleeping pads and camp mats and things but we've just left those in the back the entire four weeks that we've had the truck. Um, also you can see it has a National Luna battery charger system, the extra battery, everything all included. And then there's a big water tank right back here. And we've been able to fill that up. And then the spigot for water right there. So we've always got water with us uh, for cooking and cleaning and that sort of stuff. Now, let's take a look at the front. Now in terms of four wheel drive capability, the Land Cruiser is pretty much unbeatable. This Land Cruiser comes with the bull bar. It's got an extra lift on it. There's plenty of storage up top. It has an extra tire. It has jerry cans. In fact, because we were going through the Central Kalahari, we not only have the two jerry cans that came on the back, but you can see we've got some up there in the firewood area. We've got an extra 80 liters up there, just so that we could make sure that we had all the fuel we needed as we were cutting across that really remote area. Now it's time for a tour of the cab of the truck. 
So this is the passenger side because in Namibia and in Botswana, just like most of Southern Africa, they drive on the left side of the road, so the driver sits on the right side of the car. <clears throat> Looks like a normal car, so really there's not much to show in the front, but I will make note that um, a couple of things, there was only one cigarette lighter, so our GPS is run by uh, the cigarette lighter, and we also have an inverter that we brought that um, also <laughs> is run from the cigarette lighter. So we've had to get a little creative with our battery charging and that sort of stuff. But overall, it's worked out fine. So it is a manual and I know how to drive a manual, but I don't have a lot of practice with it. So Eric's been doing all of the driving. Darn. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> we also rented a satellite phone for places like the Central Kalahari where there is absolutely nothing and no one is there to help you. So we wanted to have this just for emergencies. Fortunately, we haven't had to use it. The back seat looks really messy, but I promise it's organized and we could probably put our fingers on something really quickly. So this is obviously a quad cab and there's only two of us. So fortunately we've been able to use the back seat as our catch all place. It's kept us uh, our, all of our camera gear and it's where we've just basically got everything we need to live uh, when we're out and about. So you can see Eric's camera gear and everything here. My camera gear is on that side and um, it makes it really easily accessible from the front seat when we see something cool that we want to take a picture of. So that's been really helpful. Here's a little organizational tip for you. We brought these from home because we actually use them in our FJ all the time, but it's really nice to have uh, things, little pockets to hold things that, um, that you need to be able to find quickly, like flashlights or headlamps. And so uh, I recommend if you're ever doing this kind of trip and you have a quad cab and fortunate enough to have the space, bring something like this because it really will help keep things collect collected. In addition to the GPS and satellite phone, we have our own Garmin inReach that has been tracking us all along and we were able to give out the tracking information to our families so they could keep up with us and where we are. It's still tracking us too. And now it's time to take a tour of probably our favorite part of this truck, the rooftop tent. But you'll notice that to be able to access the rooftop tent, at least the way we currently have it set up, you do have to take the awning down first, which fortunately isn't a big problem. Just a quick pull, and then it wraps around. Oops. Except we have the table in the way. There, and a quick zip and it's all the way up. But for the tour, you can now go up. Now there are two ways that you can actually access the tent. You can access from the back or from the other side, but because we have the other tent on there, we haven't been able to use that side. It's just dusty and messy and we decided to use the back all the time. So you can head up and take a look. So I'm gonna head up the ladder, as we call it, we're gonna go upstairs. Let's go. As you can see, there's a nice awning here to protect yourself from the weather if you encounter any. Um, and then the t no shoes. The tent has the tent has a screen that is like mesh, but it also has a canvas one. So if it gets really cold or you need to block some wind, you can always roll up those. We have loved this because we just leave the mesh screens open and that way if there's things that come into camp, you can see them, um, we can see the stars, and it just is, it, it feels invigorating to have the, the breeze coming through in the middle of the night. Probably the reason I love having a rooftop tent the most, and this style of rooftop tent, is that you can leave your bedding all made all the time. So even at the end of camp, we have to push the pillows to the side and it just closes. And so you can leave everything set up and it's a lot easier than having to roll up some sleeping bags and move everything out. Um, we actually also have a, a nice cushion underneath. So we're not sleeping on something like super hard. It's actually kind of like a little bit and this is another organizational thing I like, pockets. Because you can have your things up here accessible when you need them at night, 
they don't get in the way when you're sleeping. So I've put things like my journal and flashlights and clothes and things up there, and it's just up and out of the way. There's also a nice space at the head of the tent between the mattress and the edge of the tent that uh, allows you to put a whole bunch of stuff there at night to keep um, with you when you go to sleep, like keys to the car and, and your phone and things like that. But this one also has a little port for a USB charger. So we've been able to charge some phones and some uh, watches and things in, as we sleep. And there's also some little lights that have been really um, helpful as you're kind of getting ready for bed. So that's a tour of our safari vehicle. What did you think about it? Do you think you would enjoy sleeping in a tent on top of your roof? Make sure if you want to follow along, you subscribe below and also give this a like so that we know that you are enjoying this kind of content. Well, I think I'm gonna take a nap. So, see you next time, bye.